Actually, I did not know, and honestly, after hearing it, it's actually crazy. Feminine products line shelves at stores across Charlotte, but what you see on the price tag is not what you're paying. It's messed up because this is a natural thing for us. And why are we being taxed for doing something natural? Right now in North Carolina, menstrual products are taxed 4.75%. According to lawmakers, the state collects about $5.5 million from these taxes a year. So it's 0.0007% um, of our total revenue. It's a very small amount. Representative Julie Von Hyphen is a primary sponsor of the Menstrual Equity Act, a piece of legislation that would exempt feminine hygiene products like tampons, pads, and menstrual cups from state sales tax. Having your period is not a luxury. Uh, they're medically necessary, and so that's why I feel like removing the tax is really important. The bill would also extend funding to schools so feminine products could be given out for free. According to Period, an organization fighting menstrual poverty says nearly a quarter of U.S. students struggle to afford feminine products, leading to more absences. What that's doing is it's creating this distinct level of inequality in education for students who menstruate compared to those who don't. Michaela D says she's seen it firsthand too many times, a problem male classmates will never have to experience. At a young age, it's embarrassing seeing when you see another girl go through this traumatizing event by not wearing her pad or wearing tampons because she can't afford it or it's not available to her. It's not fair at all.